Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Catacomb Armageddon 3D! When last we left off, we had completely obliterated the ramparts of Nemesis, the strident clone of Nemesis, and all the other clones of Nemesis that we'd encountered along the way. Do I get the idea that there's clones ahead? Possibly. Let's find out. We use the blue key, and there indeed is a clone of Nemesis! Hello! How are you? You are soon to be dead. There we go. One dead clone. And also one cure potion that we need to use. No power-ups here? What about in this door? The answer is another Nemesis. For indeed, Nemesis has resorted to sending clones of Nemesis to defeat us. And that was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. To the chambers of final conflict indeed. Let's go, shall we? Let's move on to a new area, hopefully the final area, and I think now is a very, very good time to save. You'll notice there are a lot of save files here. That is because I was basically um, experimenting with uh, finding out if there are any secret levels, and I haven't yet found any. So, let's go forward and see if we can go in to the Chambers of Final Conflict. And there indeed is a Nemesis, although this is the Chamber of the First Conflict, which implies that there are multiple Nemesises here. Nemesis! Hello, Nemesis! I'm just going to uh, fire tons and tons of zappers at you, because unfortunately you've made a critical error, and that is putting some power-ups in the rooms that I'm going to fight you, which you are uh, critically weak to. There we are! That seems like more than enough power-ups. Maybe a few exterminators just to uh, sweeten the deal. And now we shall wait. For you are going to probably perish, or at least be really, really severely weakened by all this. Alright, let's go. Are you alive? No. No, you are not. And with that defeat, the first conflict has been concluded. And I was going to just guess that there was an enemy here, but I didn't know as to which one. I was actually presuming another clone of Nemesis. Also, why is the game giving me more power-ups? Why does Nemesis want to give me ammunition to destroy him? Maybe he's feeling sporting, or maybe he never intended us to get this far. But I'm sure he must have realized that by now we're pretty good at this whole defeating Nemesis malark. What is in here? In here appear to be two Nemesises! Nemesis and one that I will call Nemesis Jim. Alright, you are Nemesis Jim, and we shall defeat you by firing an absolutely large amount of attacks at you. Like this. And one or two exterminators just to sweeten the deal. And you, we're just going to fire lots of things at you, like this. There we go. And a couple of these. And two exterminators. Actually, we'll fire three exterminators at you. And now we're just going to wait. Are either of you going to be alive at the end of this? Let's find out. The answer is... Yes, yes, you actually are. Although I imagine not by very much. We also need to be very, very careful because there are two of them. They're going to uh, be able to uh, flank me and deal lots and lots of damage. So I need to be very, very careful. We need to defeat one of them, and there we go! One has been defeated, and we have one key! And I imagine the other one is also going to drop a key. Indeed I was right! If we actually need another key, is another question entirely. Also a completely uh, superfluous uh, power up there. There are more wizards in here! More mages still loyal to Nemesis! A uh, newsflash, I'm defeating your, um, your liege quite often these days! You might want to consider other employment, but then again, you're dead, so really not much of an option. Alright, I'm going to guess that there is going to be a third conflict, and um, my um, bet is that there's going to be three nemeses beyond this door. Let's find out, shall we? Let's cure just in case, and let's save just in case, because the last thing I want to have here is for us to die absolutely horribly. We're probably going to die absolutely horribly, aren't we? Yes, there are indeed three of them. Let's quickly go into this corner and try our best at defeating at least one of them. If we can de 
defeat one of them, then I'm pretty sure that we could defeat another. We could just use the uh, other power-up to defeat the other ones. So we're going to just constantly fire this button until we get to about maybe the 10 on the time stopped mark. All of these should pretty much hit um, this nemesis that we're going to call Nemesis Bob here. Hello Nemesis Bob, how are you? You're soon going to perish, because this is an awful lot of magic missiles. This is what Time Stop is, if you have an epic level version of it in D&D. You just sort of, uh, wait and, uh, see what happens here. Is he dead? No, he is not dead. Alright, he's not dead. Maybe a few exterminators will do the trick. And what about you? Exterminators? I think a few of them might do, uh, some good. And just a couple of zappers, because we have a lot of zappers. There are only two of these time stop things, so if I manage not to defeat either of these uh, nemeses now, we're pretty much going to have to rely on the old-fashioned way of defeating them. With three of them, I really don't rate our chances. Also, I think saving here is probably a bad idea. We're going to see first if this one dies. If this one dies, we're in a good spot. Ah, that one is dead. Good. So we only have two of them to deal with now, and that's pretty decent. A few of these, and moving away because we do not want to die there. There's a key here. Probably completely superfluous. We could also probably just move away from all of these clones, but I feel like actually fighting them is probably a good idea. Hello. You're going to perish. I know I've said hello to you all before, but I didn't actually say hello to each one of you. So hello one, hello two, and I was gonna say hello to the third one, but the third one is a little dead. Deader than a lich normally is. Also, we have managed to defeat the second one, and now it's just the third. And now the third has also been defeated, and they did it correctly this time, where only one of them dropped a key. We have actually a completely superfluous key that could have been used to completely bypass this fight, if I so chose to. There is an advantage I imagine to not bypassing the fight, and that is that if we chose to backtrack into this portal, which we could in theory do... Where is that wizard? There you are, hello! We could have uh, backtrack. Oh, is there another wizard? There is another wizard, hello! We could have backtracked into the uh, previous challenge room and rested and recuperated. And uh, we couldn't really do that if we just ran through here and avoided this fight. Also, we'd have left three clones of Nemesis just lying around. A bad idea. Also, here are eight treasure chests, as if the game uh, wants you to have even more firepower. At this point, we have more exterminators than we do uh, zappers, so we're most certainly going to be using a lot of uh, exterminators in the next room. Apologies for the sudden interruption there, we have returned, and before us lies the portal to the final conflict with Nemesis. How do I know it's the final conflict? Because that there wasn't the final conflict, and there were three clones of Nemesis. So I'm presuming there are either going to be four here, or something even worse. And the answer is something even worse, because there is Nemesis and a lot of wizards. Right, let's make sure they're all dead, shall we? One, uh, pair of exterminators for you, a 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 pair of exterminators for you, and a pair of exterminators for you, and as many zappers as I can possibly give you. Because why not? You, after all, are Nemesis. You are not a clone. You are the real deal. Well, about as real as a lich can get. And we're going to see now if uh, any of you are in fact defeated by the sheer amount of firepower I've launched. And the answer is, some of you have been defeated. We need to be very, very... Uh-oh, accidentally stepped in there rather than uh, fight all of you. As you can see, the final encounter is there. And that's something you can indeed do, backtrack. Hello, there's another time stop. There is one wizard here still alive, and there's one wizard here still alive. And here is a nemesis attack. You really wouldn't want to pick up any items that look like that, would you? Alright, we need to uh, deal with nemesis here, so I think uh, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think about eight exterminators and uh, a couple of um, zappers might be good here. Just a couple. And as soon as we manage to defeat all these wizards, I'm most certainly going to save. Are they all dead? The answer is... Yes, I think they're all pretty much dead. So it is now time to uh, save again, so that we uh, don't have to uh, clear that room once more. There we are. Alright, got to avoid that, and it's now just Everhail and Nemesis. And how powerful are the- Whoa, those are extremely powerful attacks. We went from 98% to about 50. Oh, we are nearly dead. Those are some really, really devastating attacks that we need to be very, very careful of. We're pretty much going to have to use curing potions every time we get hit. Although I don't think they can- Oh, I don't think they can uh, one-shot us. Or rather, two-shot us. So we go from uh, about- Uh-oh. Uh we should use our cure potions wisely. Indeed we should, because we have lost to Nemesis. This was pretty much expected, because Nemesis is extremely, extremely deadly. He most certainly has got stronger since the first time we encountered him. The first time we properly encountered him, that is, not a clone, or a doppelganger, or an illusion made with magic. This is actually Nemesis. And Nemesis is probably annoyed that we have all of these cure potions at our disposal, and the unlimited supply of magic missiles. I mean, you really should try magic missiles, Nemesis. Sure, there are many of them, but they most certainly have a constant rate of fire. Then again, if you manage to power up those attacks so they can pretty much one-shot me, that would also work quite well. But, uh, not even you are capable of that, it would seem. Also, being this close to you is a really bad idea. Also, uh, not facing you is a really bad idea. Because if I'm not facing you, I can't see where all your attacks are. Alright. There you are. You still are there, you're still not dead, not even after all of these, uh, all of the attacks I've launched against you. You're still here, still alive, and still trying to kill me. Not anymore, though! Ha <laughs> ha! Goodbye, Nemesis. Also, I still had a spare key. I could have completely avoided fighting you. I may try that at some point. I may try to completely avoid fighting you. But you are now no more. Well, for now, anyway. I'm just going to presume that at some point, Nemesis, you're going to come back. And how do I know this? Because, uh, I can't even see your robes anymore. Already, you have vanished, which implies that you will at some point return. Also, yet again, you have a secret access way to the surface that, uh, is quite handy for me. Not necessarily for you, however. All right. Let us go and leave and zap every single wall that we can along the way, just in case any of them happen to be uh, a way that we can go to a secret little location. But no, it would seem not. Also, here are cure potions. I have no idea why the game is giving us cure potions right now, because we have already managed to defeat it. Oh, there's more of them there, but I didn't even notice. Not bad, 61 Cure Potions. Considering that I was getting very worried at one point that we'd uh, completely run out, that's not terrible at all. Also, there really appear to be no secrets here. No secrets whatsoever. Well, I suppose that's not too bad. We already know the uh, secret uh, code to get access to the um, warp capabilities. I don't think it changes from game to game as it uses the same engine. But hey, we defeated Nemesis once again. And no matter where Nemesis appears, we will defeat him, even if it's in the far, far future. Let's hope it's not in the far, far future. Also, I'll be back once again. But Everhale has no need for guttering. He has defeated the evil machinations of Nemesis. What more does he need than all the loot that he possesses right now? 
we have returned, and as a note, I did another check to see if there were any secret levels in this game, and I don't actually think that there are. The uh, code for getting access to all of the cheats is a little different in this one. You have to press backspace rather than uh, F10 and all the buttons to uh, access things, and the warp doesn't appear to have any other levels beyond the uh, levels that the game has presented here, which is a shame. I may be wrong, but as far as I know, there is uh, nothing else here here to see game-wise, and none of these walls appear to be secret walls. So let's just go around this corner and ooh, a lot of treasure! Entirely superfluous treasure, considering the fact that we've managed to defeat the game. However, I suppose you could walk back to other levels with all these power-ups, but why wouldn't you do that earlier when you have a lot more power-ups? It does uh, ask a few questions. And so we're just going to head back to the surface, and back to civilization. And there are even more power-ups here! The world shall know of your courage! Your name will be honoured forever! Congratulations, O oh mighty warrior! Continue forward toward freedom! Also, this is uh, perhaps a very, very clever trap on Nemesis's part, because if Everhale just kept walking up and down this corridor, a booming voice would be like, You are absolutely awesome! Stay here and back up so that I may say more awesome things to you, and distract you while Nemesis is slowly rebuilding his strength and his minions to inevitably fight you in the sequel. For there was indeed one more sequel. And here is the exit. Step through to your reward. By the way, that reward is just not being dead. I imagine if Everhale hadn't have come this way to defeat Nemesis, though, Nemesis might have tried to kill him, because, you know, Everhale was pretty much the only person that could stop uh, Nemesis before. But there is one more sequel, and that is the Catacomb Apocalypse 3D, and that one I know does take place in the future, and there is silliness that comes with it, but that is next time, because for now, we have triumphed against Nemesis, and I'm sure Nemesis will never ever come back to plague the people... ever. Oh wait! There was a sequel. Nemesis came back to plague the people. And so Everhale will once more have to stop him. Maybe Nemesis might be even more powerful! Let's hope not, shall we? But he might be. There's only one way to find out, and that's to move on to the next game. And that will come next time, folks. For when we come back, we will start the Catacomb Apocalypse 3D. I'm Kikoskia, and this was the Catacomb Armageddon 3D. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Oh, also, uh, because this probably isn't going to record the uh, actual end screen, if it doesn't, the uh, end screen will be in the description as a link. So without further ado, let's step through to our reward. Later.